Good day everyone, David Paul speaking. It's uh, 20 past 9 here on the 4th of March, Wednesday the 4th of March. Well, uh, as you all probably know, uh, after the rate cut in the US yesterday, our markets went up 600 points in uh, less than a minute and reversed, came back. Uh, the trend situation in Victor West uh, USA is that the short term trend is down, the longer term trend is down, and Victor West does not advocate buying stocks at this time. Uh, the uh, price in fact uh, down uh, day over day and week over weekend you can see the little black star inside the red box means that uh, momentum also strongly down so uh, uh, only the bravest people would be thinking of buying stocks uh, the UK uh, also short term trend is down the longer term trend is down so on both sides of the pond uh, all of the effective S trends from short term to long term all uh, in fact uh, negative uh, let's have a look at uh, the uh, S&P and that's the S&P cash folks and uh, as you can see this uh, rather ominous looking candle uh, opened up uh, as I say went up on the Dow went up 600 points in a minute if you were short you, if, uh, if you were short you would never have got out 600 points uh, in less than a minute and then it reversed and came right down but this is quite normal folks if this was a, a wave A a B and another push up to C or we've got, in fact got a V bottom here invariably the first pullback is a 78% uh, pullback so uh, unfortunately it may that candle looks uh, quite savage uh, but uh, it's quite normal in the situation and uh, we could actually expect even under the most bullish circumstances for the market to pull back to my dotted blue line which is a 78% retracement of that range up got the Dow futures and uh, the Dow futures in fact uh, uh, that's the uh, this is an hourly chart uh, they've uh, sold off uh, over the last uh, few days as we all know from our stockbroking accounts and uh, that's the push up on Monday uh, and that's that push strongly up yesterday afternoon on the right cut in the US and then it come off for the rest of the day now very importantly folks uh, there's a trend line in play here uh, there is also a 62% retracement of this range and that's also a 78% retracement of the bigger range so uh, uh, enough a lot of quite powerful people buying in here so I still think uh, that uh, this uh, rally uh, and I think technically it has to be looked upon as a rally uh, over the next few days until 10 days is still in place it's a very fluid situation I think that only the bravest people those people that in fact have got a great deal of uh, experience in managing risk uh, proactively with stop loss orders and have proven to themselves that they can actually put those stop losses into place should actually be buying into this market certainly uh, if this uh, line were to go and the market to make, make a falling top here then uh, there's more downside that candle yesterday looks quite ominous to me but um, uh, let's have a look now at uh, VectorVest UK and if we go to VectorVest UK folks uh, I've this a couple of shares that I'd be interested in. Uh, first of all, this little uh, investment trust, Equifin, I've had a good run in it. Um, significantly undervalued in Vector Vest, was up a bit yesterday. Uh, the RV, uh, outstanding at 1.88. The RS, uh, good uh, at 1.26. And we believe it's going to go earnings next year at 46%. And the longer term trend, outstanding at 1.54. But technically, it looks really good because. Uh, we pull up the chart there's the chart folks and as you can see I've got a lot of my technical stuff off let's take this off this is one of the most important numbers this is uh, forecast earnings per share and as you can see this has gone up from uh, 5 pence to 40 pence in the last year that's driving this advance uh, let me just take off my fib for a second as you can see I've been playing with first of all we've got a long-term support line here and uh, uh, that's in place uh, this market has pulled back to this area where uh, we've got a great deal of resistance which has now become support uh, and of course the third thing that we've got is this uh, Fibonacci retracement from that low to this high we can see that the market stopped at exactly that magic 78% retracement and bounce from there so uh, too early to do anything apart from the very bravest of people but uh, nevertheless uh, uh, I think this can easily pull back a little bit in the noise to that 78% level uh, I don't think anybody should do anything until we at least see a green light on VectorVest 
uh, showing that the, at least the short term trend of the overall market is up but nevertheless uh, those of you that have come new to markets folks just don't be, get dismayed about the sell off over the last 10 days there are many shares that have pulled back like this uh, little investment trust uh, to bargain uh, prices other one that I'm looking at of course is a share that I've had a, a nice run in a very nice run in over the last few months called Lion Trust Asset Management and it's pulled back to a very interesting level as well uh, and uh, there we are. There's this earnings per share that's been good. There's the valuation right up there. Uh, and let's just get rid of this. Uh, certainly it can pull back to eight pounds. There's no doubt about that. It can go, c pull back to eight pounds. But there is a, a significant high here which has become support once and it could easily become support again. If I uh, draw my uh, fib in uh, from where it broke to that high we can see that there's a confluence here of this old high and the 61% level coming in at the one place. Uh, this share's got a, a really good uh, history of making money. If we look at it over five years, it's what Advectivest we would refer to as an earnings per share king in that uh, prices have been risen strongly uh, but the earnings per share has also risen very strongly and linear. But uh, it could easily slip, folks. Uh, to this level where as this trend line progresses as time progresses it actually uh, catches up with this old high at eight pounds so there is risk here but uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see uh, a str if, the, if the market bounces I think we'll get back to that ten pound level uh, I've got the stochastic on here and use the stochastic a bit of work to do yet however it is showing uh, my favorite pattern with the stochastic which is reverse divergence price as yet making a, a rising bottom but the indicator making a falling bottom. Still got a way to go, uh, but folks, there is opportunity around. Uh, I think that there will be a great deal of opportunity for bottom fishing uh, as soon as this market settles down. Um, uh, Dow futures are doing their best uh, to to move up. Uh, they're up 400 points since last night's close. Those of you that know my work will know that I tend to be overly optimistic, so uh, please uh, do your own research and very importantly in this environment if you haven't got the proven ability to put stop losses into place uh, and manage your money carefully then uh, rather use this time to sit and get some experience do some paper trading okay uh, the volatility yesterday afternoon intraday uh, was incredible um, I've been caught on the wrong side of those 600 point one minute moves too many times so I sat and watched it uh, and uh, uh, did absolutely nothing onto that rate uh, hike uh, rate decision was well out of the way so I hope this helps in some way folks uh, I'm still optimistic of a uh, of a, a significant re rally which can go much higher here uh, but the technical evidence in fact then supports a test of last Friday's low uh, I hope it's just going to be a test of last Friday's low. I'll keep doing these as uh, the uh, market progresses, uh, but there is opportunity around. Still too early. As I say, I hope this helps. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.